During Kansas's heyday, guitarist and songwriter Kerry Levgren penned some of the band's most memorable hits, like Carry On Wayward Son and Dust in the Wind. Guitarist and songwriter Kerry Livgren, mm -hmm. he's no longer with the band. What happened with that? Well, Kerry pretty much retired. I mean, it was Kerry uh, had uh, had kind of undergone a uh, religious experience, uh, became saved and born again, and wanted to pursue other music in that vein. Uh, same with Dave Hope, our bass player. So it was the kind of thing that we got together, and they went their way, we went our way. But it's, it's interesting because you ask that question, there are no hard feelings today. Uh, Steve retired uh, because of his uh, vocal problems. If he was sitting here, he would tell you he was having a hard time singing. And it was just time. And he told me on the phone, I'm, it's time for me to retire. Richard and I, we're just not done yet. <laughs> yeah, we just we want to keep going, and and it was something that we wanted to do. So you ask a very good question about how this happened, and I don't think Rich and I really saw it coming as much as we had addressed this in the very early days of the band. Is that the band would never be a soapbox for any one particular person's uh, beliefs, political views whatever, because we were a band. Let's talk music for a minute. When you first recorded the album, the Point of No Return, mm -hmm. did you say to yourself, Dust in the Wind is going to be big, it's going to be huge? Uh, that kind of goes back to the rehearsals when Carrie first played us the song. Uh, yes, we knew instantly that this song was going to be uh, huge. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not sure Carrie believed it, uh, but you're probably I know, the only one that didn't. Yeah, the rest of us were very emphatic, uh, very excited about the song. So that particular song, "Dust in the Wind," we we knew was going to be a, a big song, and still is. Well, Ronnie, at your age and stage, uh, you were not around when they recorded that album. You're fairly new to them. I was two. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a little older than that. But you know, I'm keeping in mind that. Well, Kansas is known all over the world. There are people watching this who either haven't heard of the band or don't know much about the band. What makes Kansas different? You might be in a better place to judge that than other members of the band. Yeah, because I was a fan so early on, and to me the appeal was the diversity, the dynamics of the music. And, the, and just the talent that it took made such an impression on me. And you talk about dust in the wind. I remember being a teenager and going to the local guitar store. Every guitar teacher was teaching dust in the wind. It was such, just such a popular song. And I, I, I mean, I've heard it my entire life. And it's in, I think it's ingrained in people's brains. Why do you think that is? What what about this particular song? Um, Kerry just really, it turned out it was just a finger-picking exercise, and his wife asked him to maybe consider making a song of it, and he was reading a book about American Native Indians, um, and it kind of inspired him to write the lyric. And the, between the lyric and the haunting melody and everything about it, it was timeless when we did it, and it's remained timeless. Uh, it's just, there's something about that song. Uh, it's one of my favorite p parts of the night is, I'm the guy that gets to start that song, you know, and everybody in the, in the audience knows the song, they know every lyric. Most of them have a personal story about it, and I'm very grateful for, to be that guy. It's, a, it's quite an experience to play something that has so much meaning to so many people. It was uh, something that only comes along every once in a while. I know that over the years, we've been asked by record companies and fans, why don't you guys write another Dust in the Wind? Okay. That, that just doesn't <laughs> happen. Uh, I mean, you can try, you can give it a shot, but there's not, there's no more Dust in the Winds coming out of Kansas. We, pl uh, we played a show in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, and we'd been invited there, and we had no idea what to expect. We'd never been to that part of the world before, and this was not that long ago, five or six years ago. And the place, it sold out really quickly, and I was saying, what took you so long to get here? Who knew? Um, but 
But the standout of the night was playing Dust in the Wind because, you know, being acoustic, you could hear the crowd. And they were singing so loud that I, you could hear not just them singing, but their Bulgarian accent. <laughs> and it was one of those moments that just will forever be frozen in time to me was the impact of that song so far away.